And you can see how this is the perfect defense to use against just about any shotgun look as this blitz goes right up the A-gap where pretty much any running back would be taking a handoff for an inside zone. So he would blow this play up for a loss. But if he doesn't, if it's a pass, he goes straight after the quarterback as well as we get one of the quickest A-gap sacks you're going to see in this game. For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no-band guarantee delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff at the Mad Cheese, as always. Got a breakdown of a new defense for you guys today, although it should look pretty familiar if you follow my channel throughout the year. And that defense is the nickel 3-3 odd. I say that because I was probably using this defense before anybody, although I was using it in a very different way than what I'm going to show you guys today. The nickel 3-3 odd really gained uh, massive popularity once Henry won the Madden Challenge Championship using this particular defense and a very specific A-gap blitz, which still works. But that defense really opened up a lot of people's eyes to the abilities of this particular formation when it comes to blitzes, especially when it comes to A-gap blitzes, as there's so many different ways you can get A-gap pressure with this particular system. So I'm going to leave a link in the description if you guys want to see the full breakdown that I put out several months ago. But I'm going to show you guys some new plays today. As always, though, before I do that, if you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. And if you need more help and more money plays, you can download this or any of my ebooks instantly simply by clicking links in the description or the top pinned comment. Now, you can find this formation in my Raiders defensive ebook. I'll try to put up on the screen here every single defensive playbook that you can use to find this particular defense because it is kind of rare. But you can also find it in my custom defensive ebook as well. Now, as far as the setup for this, there really is no setup. It's very easy. The only thing you need to do is make sure that you have your uh, your auto flip defensive play call off because you're going to have to flip the play when it comes to a number of these coverages. Now, you can use the same way you could with Henry's defense back when I put that out or when I broke down what he was doing with that. You have to flip the play, and you can use any one of these defenses, whether it's cover three seam, the cover one robber. You could use the cover three sky, the Tampa two. Any particular defense that has uh, this look here where this this outside um, defensive end is going in a different direction than all of the other blitzers. They're all kind of slanting at an angle this way. So the cover six here, the cover three cloud here, they're going to work the same way because the three defensive linemen are slanting in one direction and the outside linebacker, the defensive end, is just running straight. That's why it works. So there's really like six different defenses you could call and use this exact same blitz every single time. Now for my substitutions, the most important thing is you're going to want to make sure that you have your fastest uh, capable player. It could be a linebacker. It could be a, a you know a safety because you can put safeties in these middle linebacker spots but you're going to want your fastest guy in this particular spot here and for me that would most likely be nolan smith jr because i think he's like a 94 speed or something like that. i don't really don't remember but he's definitely fast so we're going to put him there and then we're going to also put you know we can put a linebacker here i mean devin white's pretty fast if your opponent's running the ball a lot you probably want to leave a linebacker in but i typically move uh, i just typically go with safeties so that's something that you can really um, do based off of what your opponent's doing on offense. If he's passing a lot, user safety, you'll get better coverage user skills wise with a safety. And if he's running the ball a lot, you're going to want to leave a linebacker. It's really that simple. So now, if you remember the original setup, there was quite a, a bit of steps. You had to pinch the entire defense. I would actually uh, base a line after that. And then you just basically had to bring this guy right behind this, uh, this nose tackle here and put him on a blitz. And you had to make sure the angle was coming from this direction. And then he would also, and I, I report on all this, you could also come back here and use her from behind this guy so you didn't mess up the blitz. But this play was pretty good because you could also put the defensive end on a vert hook or a um a hard flat you could also put the b defensive end on something which was totally unique to this defense and you can do all this with the new blitz i'm going to show you but this is quite a setup this is a lot of stuff you have to do here i'll go on a guess pass too so we can get a we'll get the blitz off one time you can see how he just gets right that a gap so having all that coverage is still really nice but it's a lot of setup. If you can't do all that, there's actually a way easier setup if you don't have a lot of time, so your opponent's not really making a lot of adjustments or not giving you a lot of time. All you gotta do is blitz all linebackers and bring this guy down the gap right here. This is all you gotta do. Guessing pass also will help if it is a pass. But you can see I don't get nearly as much coverage options when it comes to this setup. I mean, he's going to come right up the A-gap, which is nice. And you can see right there, they run a toss. And he still chases him down because, like I said, Nolan Smith is really fast. But that's a very easy setup that you can do. And like I said, it's a universal setup. The same way the other play was a universal setup, I can do that from the cover three cloud. I can do it from a lot of different things. I also have the option of not... Uh, blitzing them at all if I if I think that you know if my opponent is trying to hit me with quick strikes because he sees that blitz coming I could just not 
do the blitz and just come down over the gap, making them think I'm going to do the blitz. And then there's a chance that hook curl could jump a quick pass. So keep that in mind. You don't have to do this blitz every single time. Now, one of the reasons I wanted to show the cover three is because the, I, I think cover three uh, is pretty good when it comes to matching principles, this particular type of cover three match. And if you guys don't know, anytime you guys see a seam flat, it's a matching cover three compared to... Um, you know, if it's a uh, the other type, it's uh, the quarter flat or whatever. That's not matching. So since I have a, a seam flat, it's going to do a better job of matching. I'll go ahead and leave it like this one time just to show you guys how the coverage is different. And, of course, we get a run play. But you can see it's still pretty good run defense anyway. And as I'm not too worried about the results because, like I said, I'll, I'll probably have a gameplay of this out pretty soon. But let's go ahead and let's put this um, to the test. Like I said, just let these guys run the coverage. And you can see we get pretty good coverage as it is, and there's really nothing open. So to me, like I said, I like this particular style of defense when it comes to cover three match. But you could also hard flat and protect what is really the um, the biggest weakness of cover three, which is underneath the dropping cornerbacks. And if you really want to go full setup, you could bring these uh, these guys down, although I didn't mean to, to do what I did there with the defensive end. Although, like I said, this defense is so unique. Even though I accidentally spread the defensive line, I'm still going to get pressure this way. This this particular blitz has so many different ways to get pressure, although there you can see it kind of picked that up. But the hard flat shut down that toss, which is, like I said, one of the reasons I like the hard flat because when these cornerbacks drop back, typically there's nothing underneath to take away those short areas. And if you hard flat, number one, it will override, override the matching principles, which I also like as well. I'm going to press this time one more time. I like the fact that I can override those. If I really have time to do a full setup, I want to bring all these safeties down so they can get into the play more. And then this will be the defense that I'd probably run the most because I want to protect underneath those cornerbacks. I mean, if I run my defense like this, the whole intermediate area of the field is my area. And I'm cool with that because I know where I need to be. I need to watch the intermediate area of the field and try to take those things away. You do have to worry about the cover three scene, but you can see the ball was still knocked out because I had the safety down in the box. One of the things about this defense, you can see the safety is really tight to the side where the, uh, where the, where the, the, um, the bunch is. So that alone is helpful based off the fact that it's hard to get up that seam because of that. I mean, you might be able to get the seam on the other side, but there's really nothing there pulling that cornerback away, so the cornerback on the other side is probably going to be on top of it too. So there's not a ton of weaknesses on this defense. As you can see, we're getting massive heat. We're getting stops all over the field pretty much every single time, and this is just a really good defense to run. The best part about it is, like I said, very easy setup. Now, I said I wanted to show you guys how to do this out of a cover one because in the past, you couldn't really do this too easily out of any man coverage. But if you like to run man coverage, you can run this defense simply by flipping this play once again and doing the setup in a little bit of a different way. We're going to continue to go with, um, you know, we'll go random uh, shotgun one more time. Now, as far as the setup, this is what I mean by you can't really do the exact same setup because you can see how you have uh, Smith here's man to somebody. If, if I really want to, I really have two options. I could bring this guy down and make him either the man or the blitzer. The easier way to go is to blitz all once again and then just man this guy to the A receiver as the running back's going to be my responsibility now. That's the quickest way to do it. As you can see, I had to bring him over, kind of show my hand a little bit on defense. But you can see how you get the exact same pressure and the exact same blitz. So like I said, this here, it's not too long. If I really want to set that up quick, I can do that. The longest, hardest part would be getting him in, in, in position as he's way too far across. If he crosses the field, it's not a problem. But if I run it just like this, you can see he's wide open for a, a good, decent amount of time. But since the blitz comes in so fast, it really doesn't matter. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. Like I said, if you guys want to see more defensive plays, more blitzes, more setups like this in the future, please make sure to be a subscriber. And if you want to see the full breakdown of this defense, more plays to add to your arsenal, I have a link popping up on screen just now, right now. So just click the links. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. Mush it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive Exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.